Hello and welcome. My name is Sean Sigmund, and today we're going to be talking about onboarding Hitachi Storage with Cisco Intersight. Before we begin, there are three prerequisites which must be met. First is having a Hitachi virtualized storage platform online and unclaimed by Cisco Intersight. Next, you need to have the Cisco Intersight Assist VM deployed within your environment. Along with that Intersight Assist VM, we also need a Hitachi Ops Center API Configuration Manager Server, or VM, so that we can communicate between Cisco Intersight and the Hitachi Storage. Next, we need to test our connection between the CMRS server and our Hitachi VSP storage system. Here you can see that we're querying our CMRS server and asking to see how many storage systems are already registered. From here, you could see five arrays are registered. In the next screen, we get details on the storage system we'd like to add to our CMREST server. Details such as serial number and IP address are needed. Next, we'll change our header to accept. We'll set the parameter value to application JSON. And then we'll start building our authorization methods. Within our lab, it's okay for us to use the maintenance user. However, in production instances, a different user is required. With our user defined, we now have a string within the header for authorization, and we can send a post method to onboard this new Hitachi storage using the body by selecting the IP serial number and model of the VSP array. We hit send, and this will register this new system within the CMREST. The CMREST server and Advanced REST client will communicate to onboard this new Hitachi storage system. With a 200 OK value, we've now successfully onboarded this new system into the CMREST server. But to be sure, let's go ahead and click on our get command and query to make sure that we see six different storage arrays where we previously had five. With this command, we can now see that six arrays are listed and more specifically, the array that we'd like to connect to Cisco Intersight is also listed. We now focus our attention on the Cisco Intersight web page, where we log in with a registered user. And we select our Hitachi certified cloud. Once logged into the system, we are taken to the dashboard of our Cisco Intersight cloud platform. We then go to the navigation pane under admin and click devices. From here, we can see all the devices already registered within our Intersight environment. And most importantly, our Intersight Assist, which is needed to onboard our Hitachi storage. Next, we click claim a new device and we claim the new device through Intersight Assist. We select the Intersight Assist that we need to configure for our Hitachi storage. And we set the device type to Hitachi Virtualized Storage Platform. Next, we set the IP of the storage, as well as the port. We select our protocol, as well as the username and password for our storage system. Last, we set our CMREST IP so that our Intersight Assist can communicate with our REST API. Next, the device has been successfully submitted. So we double check to see what is the status of onboarding this device. As the progress reports continues to fill, it is actively collecting all the information about the storage system. As this task completes, we can now verify that our Hitachi storage is within the Intersight platform. Clicking on devices, we can then scroll and see our new storage system added to Cisco Intersight. With the system now onboarded to the Intersight GUI, we can click on the IP hyperlink and verify the status of the system is connected. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy using Hitachi Virtualized Storage with Cisco Intersight.